Are you tired of building the same projects again and again? Everywhere you see, people are building the same things. It's either a social media platform or a trading platform or an e-commerce website. And people are just making clones of actually existing projects. People are either making an Instagram clone or a WhatsApp clone. And while these are good for your learning, these do not add any value to your resume because these projects do not show any creativity. They do not show any real world value which is very important for your resume, right? So these kind of projects, instead of, you know, amplifying your resume, they dampen your resume. And this is a main reason why so many people have their resume get rejected right after applying because you have boring projects. You do not have any good project. And the recruiter wants to see a project that has a real world value, that has a real world impact, and that is actually useful and shows creativity. So worry not in today's video, I'm going to tell you five ways that you can make a good project that is not boring, that shows some real world value, that shows some actual impact and that is bound to impress your interviewer. So yeah, let's get into it. Now, the first tip that I have for you for making an amazing project is that do not make a self-paced project. Instead, go into hackathon. And let me tell you, hackathons will give you the best of the best projects because the problem statement of the hackathons are so well thought out that you have to make a project that already has a real world value because most of the problem statements of a hackathon is actually about a real world problem, right? So hackathon projects are always on the top. So if you take part in a national level hackathon or even a good hackathon, a state level hackathon or a prestigious hackathon, and you know, you go in there, you make a good project, then that project will actually put a shine to your resume. And if you end up winning, then again, that will even be a bit above that right so always take part in hackathon try to avoid making too many self-paced projects instead go into hackathons go into good high level hackathons and there you'll see people around you making good projects it will give you some good motivation it will give you some good ideas and you'll be also learning new technologies so always try to go into hackathons and take part into as many hackathons as you can and i have seen this personally myself Hackathon's project have a great edge over just normal regular project and hackathon problem statements are actually very well thought out because the company thinks of them, right? The company that is sponsoring the hackathon, they think of them. So take part into as many hackathons as you can and then use the best project out of them, put them in your resume. Now, the second tip is use Reddit. Now, Reddit is probably the best platform, the best productive platform, I would say. It is also for entertainment, obviously but it is also one of the most productive platforms. And the reason why I'm saying that is because almost every developer right now is on Reddit. So you have many subreddits, you have r slash site project, you have r slash startup idea, you have r slash business idea. And in all of these subreddits, you go and you see many, many people who have made extremely good projects, extremely creative projects, and you can take inspiration from them. Now, some of those projects can be difficult to do right off the bat, but again, the community of Reddit is so good that, you know, you can just message some people and even ask them for help. You can even find a good group of people, you know, and you can make a good group project as well in Reddit. So you'll find a ton of inspiration, a ton of motivation on Reddit and these subreddits that I've mentioned, and I'll mention a few more subreddits in the description box. Make sure that you visit them regularly time to time, just like two minutes a day, three minutes a day, and you'll see a lot of good ideas from there. Okay. And apart from that, Reddit also has some contests for developers time to time where, you know, they see who makes the most crazy or the most unique project. And these projects are actually pretty good and pretty well thought out. So yeah, you can take your inspiration and you can take your motivation from Reddit as well. Hi everyone. Before we go into the rest of the video, just a quick announcement. If you are someone who needs help in your placement journey, whether it is needing help in making your resume top notch and getting it shortlisted, or whether you need help in cracking the interviews, mastering DSA, or you need help in brushing up your skills, practicing mock interview, or you just need a tailored roadmap specified for your requirements, then I am there on TopMate and I'm going to help you in every way that you need. Already, I've helped multiple students in getting placed into product-based companies, into their dream companies. So if you are someone who needs personal guidance or you have any doubt, then don't hesitate to reach out on TopMate. I'll be there to help you. And now let's get back to the video. Now, the third thing is basically solving sort of a global or a state level problem. So, you know, you have, if you look around you, you have so many people who are suffering from many problems, right? 
and many times it may be a natural disaster it may be a disease outbreak a very good example i'll give you is that of covid so when covid hit it was a global pandemic people were affected globally and many people actually made good projects that helped people in fighting covid you know it used api to show you like who is affected where should you go where should you not go it made they made some really really cool applications some really really cool websites so if you're solving either a like you know global issue or even a natural issue something like that then that again will blow the mind of your interviewer and it doesn't have to be as big of an issue as a you know earthquake or a or covid it doesn't have to be as big as that just look around you what are the problems that people are facing is this is there a problem of you know hate speech on in the internet is there a problem of you know misogyny in the comment section of instagram you know there are many problems like that so for solving such a problem you can use machine learning you can use ai you can use like a front end back end framework inculcate everything and then solve that problem obviously i'm not asking you to solve world hunger i'm not asking you to actually solve the problem but show that you are supporting people or you're helping people against a big issue right you don't need to solve the issue but even a simple small step forward will actually show that you know you have a way of helping people and you have done that via a project and those projects always fly they always fly in the interview and they always end up impressing the interviewer you can take my word for it okay so look around you what are the problems people are facing can you solve them in any way if you can get on writing code now the next way that i have for you is actually solving a personal problem so before that i talked about solving a global problem but you can also solve a personal problem think about yourself is there something that you want to solve for yourself because many people might be facing the same issue as you right let me give you a very good example so there is a friend of mine who loves to play guitar right and uh, he could not get a hold of his guitar so what he did he made a project using python using ml where you know he could play air guitar so you'll you'll just open your webcam or you'll just have a video of you playing air guitar and using the symbols of your hand the video will basically play the exact note or play the exact tune that a guitar would so you know it helped him you know make music virtually even without his guitar or let's say that someone is not able to speak so you know they can make a project or you can make a project for someone like that by basically you know having hand symbols in meeting show something or you know type something so these kind of things you know what are the personal problems that people face what are the personal problems that you might face you can make a video on that right and that again will also give you a pretty good project but don't make it too menial or too personal try to think of a problem that actually exists and you know that requires some complexity to solve don't do something too menial but you know something that actually requires a little bit of complexity to solve as soon as you find a problem like that try to solve it another example of you know having something that helps you personally is let's say you're a competitive programmer you want to keep hold of all the contests that are happening you want to remind yourself of all the contests that are happening so you can make a simple website that you know crawls over the web and you know collects all the uh, like upcoming contests so these sort of things you know that helps you personally and may help others as well these kind of projects are also pretty good pretty amazing but make sure that you're not solving something too menial make sure you're not doing something too personal or something that again is not that good you need to have some sort of complexity to your project it should not be a very simple project right there should be some level of complexity in the problem and there should be some level of complexity in the solution which is your project okay now the final advice and the final place for you to look for project ideas and this is by far my favorite and what i'm talking about is linkedin so if you follow the right people on linkedin then most probably you'll see a lot of startup founders on linkedin you'll find a lot of entrepreneurs on linkedin and many of them actually have good startups and startups are nothing but projects in the initial phase right it's not like you have funding for it initially it's just a project so think about it everyone gets startup idea right everyone gets startup idea do you have a startup idea if yes then make it into a project don't think about the entire startup thing just make it into a project So you'll find many many such examples all over LinkedIn. So a great example I would like to point out is Referly. So I think the name is Referly. I might be wrong. I'll give a link in the description. So it is basically a project where you can get referrals, right? 
and uh, the girl who made it actually made it a very well project made it as a very well project and in there you'll see a lot of good user base growing as well right so such sort of startup ideas that actually begin with a project are also very very great projects right and you'll find many many examples of this many people are actually building good startups and in it may not be a startup but it will be a very good project it may not evolve into a very good startup but 100% if you work hard on it it will evolve into a very good project so go on linkedin and you'll see so many people that are building xyz who are just you know like quote unquote startup founders and you can again take motivation from them as well they have some really really cool projects on linkedin another great example of a great linkedin project or a linkedin startup is devshadi.com so when i first looked at it i was not sure whether it is actually a project or not but they have a website for it so you have devshadi.com which is again sort of like a linkedin startup which is pretty self explanatory by its name right but again it is a startup and it is a great project and it is complex as well because you're using tech stacks you're using good front end you're using good back end you might be using machine learning so such sort of projects are really really good you know and again like i said it may not be a great startup but it will be a great project so linkedin is the best place to find you know startup ideas that you can make into your projects because the people on linkedin are just crazy out of this world right so make sure when you're on linkedin you're not wasting time scrolling you're actually looking for good motivation so these are the five tips apart from that i have a bonus tip for you and i have used this personally a lot and i'm talking about the ace of all chat gpt now i have gotten so many good ideas from chat gpt although i haven't had the time to implement all of them but go on chat gpt and just have a conversation with it for like 5 minutes just tell that this is the tech stack that you want to work with give me startup ideas or give me project ideas it will give you like 10 15 project ideas right off the bat all of them may not be good but 100% two or three of them will be very very awesome so use chat gpt whatever tech stack you want give it as a prompt and it will tell you some good project ideas so that again is there so all of these things will give you some amazing really cool project ideas right and once you develop such project ideas it will make such a good amplification to your resume that the recruiters will be bound to be impressed by it but again do not forget to deploy your project you can have an official website a dot com website a dot in website or you can just you know deploy it over heroku or github or netlify that is fine but you have to deploy it somewhere okay make sure that the code is good if you have uh, collaborators then make sure that your contribution is significant if it's a group group project it should not be like your contribution is just minimalistic that should not be the case no matter how good the project is if you have not contributed to it it's not going to mean anything right so apart from all of the ideas make sure that you make the project well and make sure that you're passionate about it i think the main reason that such projects do so well is because you have sort of a passion to it when you're building a clone right you're not passionate about it you don't care about it as a project you care about it as just a casual consumer you do not care about it as the founder right you need to be passionate about your project and only then you'll care about the code you'll care about every little feature and the recruiter or the interviewer will be able to see the efforts that you have put into it all right so take all of these things take all of the tips that i've said and make sure that you make a really cool project also if you've made a good project or if you want some ideas from me then you can message me over linkedin as well i'm always available to mentor you on there so yeah that's all thanks for watching